What's going on guys? How are y'all doing? Say what's up, Louie. Well, I never got to show y'all my new F-150, but uh, yeah, I got a new F-150 to uh, tow the 240 around. And I also got a trailer to use, which is my dad's trailer. I just got to buy him a winch and he said that I could use it whenever I needed to, which is a plus. But um, shout out to you, dad. Shout out to the aunt too. But um, yeah, guys, uh, I just, I love this truck. I'm super pumped that I have it. But uh, right now, we're on the way to go drop my dad's keys off because he left them at his house. So I gotta come to his shop and drop them off. And probably say what's up for a little bit because I gotta kill time uh, due to the fact that I gotta pick up my motor in about 30 minutes, 30, 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, we'll probably do an hour. But um, yeah, so my buddy Tracy finally finished the SR20. Not finally, but like he, he did it super quick, super fast. So, I mean, shout out to him, super good dude. I mean, he made a video, which I'll put the link down below on uh, how to gap uh, rings and stuff and also uh, assembling the bottom end. For a SR20, he is, uh, he knows his stuff. He builds RBs, SRs, CAs. So if you're in the West Texas area and need something built, hit him up. He's definitely a good dude, keeps in touch, sends you pictures, keeps you updated. So um, yeah, guys, so right now I'm gonna go take these keys and then when I'm on the way to Odessa, I'll pick up the motor, we'll get it strapped down, yada, yada, yada. Then I'll take it to my shop maybe. And then, yeah, guys, I mean, we still got, I mean, this is really, a, we're, we're at the ending stages of the car, really. We're at the ending stages of the 240 being done. I mean, I just got to, I already did the body works of the door and the fender that were messed up. Now they're super straight. Now I just got to go back and block it with 400. And then, uh, yeah, and hit the whole car with a thousand and paint it. But uh, other than that, we still got to drop the motor in. I already got the transmission and the bell housing swapped. So we just got to put the clutch, uh, flywheel, and some other stuff on. So I'm going to the shop right now to my dad's shop because this is where my car used to be and I had all my parts here. So I still got to dig around and find the motor or bracket mounts for the motor mounts. And then we still got to find um, something else, I forgot. But anyways, so yeah, I'm pulling up here. And once I'm done here, uh, I'll video again on when we're going to what do you call it to Odessa. So I'll see y'all then. All right, guys. So now we're finally on the Go way. Ahead, stupid. I got my buddy Michael with me, uh, business partner, buddy. But anyways, so we're on the way to go pick up the SR20 now. Slow piece of shit. Well, we gotta go to the bank, and then we gotta go pick up the motor, and then we go back to the shop. And yeah, we go back to your house. To oh yeah. My truck. Go back to the house to pick up this nigga's truck, and then go back to the shop. Bro, look how slow that fool driving, like for real. Oh yeah, let me show you. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're on the way. We're about halfway there to Odessa. So yeah, thanks to my buddy Michael for tagging along. It's always a good time when he's around. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're about to pull up, and hopefully, oh, looky, I'll looky. show y'all what it looks like. So yeah, guys, can't oh. wait. All right, guys. So we're pulling up. I'm nervous as hell. It's a cat eye. I don't wonder if he drove the skyline today. Yeah, I did too. Oh, <laughs> That's all right, dude. Dude, page. here's the man himself. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, yeah, no problem, dude. Excited for you. Oh, shit. This thing looks phenomenal, bro. You killed it. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and get this thing loaded up. So. What's going on, guys? What's up? So, I never got to make a video or end the video off. When I pick the stuff up, I got like a short clip, so I'll insert it now. But uh, I gotta head out because I gotta go eat at my mom's and uh, stepdad's house, so that's what I'm gonna do. But anyways, let me show you. I got the motor, super stoked. Yada yada yada. So let's get to it. All right, guys. How's it going? So here it is, 240. Uh, as you can see, the gap it looks beautiful. Yada yada yada. Still gotta block it out. But yeah, the door opens and closes now, like it's supposed to. So this side should be painted by the weekend. And here's the SR20, guys. So we got the CX Racing from our intercooler thing, piping the mocked up. Actually, now I can go ahead and tighten the freaking uh, the thermostat. Because now it's been like an hour and a half, which I should have done that a long time ago. So, sorry guys, let me go ahead and tighten this really quickly. But let me talk about the motor really quickly. So, it is a sr20 det red top with arp head studs arp main studs uh, cp 86 millimeter pistons eight to five to one compression i got manly rods and uh cleavite bearings in there what else do i have is uh 
yeah, I mean, the, the whole bottom is fully built. I mean, everything. The studs, everything. So, uh, nothing stock on the bottom end. Valve train is still stock. I have another black top head, but I might be selling that to my buddy Tracy along with the hard body. But I'm going to do a package deal for him for a good price. I'm going to paint it, put the wheels on it, put the tires on it for him. Because he hooked me up, so I'm going to hook him up. But anyways, but this is a P2M uh, high output oil pump. I think that's how you say it. And then just a knockoff Gretty water pump thingy, pulley. And then this is my good feeling. My, I'm a big fan of Patrick Carson, and I hope to hang out with him one day, have a few beers, and uh, drive with him. But um, anyways, this is my car. Since I am a big Patrick Carson fan, uh, I decided to do my car similar to his color, but I did, did the two-tone. And um, yeah, guys, so these are the wheels. I did a 215, 45, 17 on Adahan 17 by nines with a 25 offset square setup. Then I just did these custom tail lights. Don't, I feel like I'm the first person to do this, so I haven't posted this, but I should. But uh, it's all color matched. And then also, I don't know if y'all remember, but the update on the car. But yeah, we got the door panels all in there. I went ahead and tinted the windows. They're not the best, but they'll pass. It's a drift car, so I'm not tripping. See, the door opens, it closes like it's supposed to. Then we got the electric fans. Y'all know about all this stuff, yada, yada, yada. So what we're waiting for is my dumb self. I literally had three SR20s and I don't know what happened to all my motor mounts. My dad cleaned up his shop and had people clean it. So I'm guessing the motor mounts probably got thrown away, which is I'm upset about. So I have Deja Vu Garage that always sells me these parts that I need for this car. So I'm gonna hit him up. If you need parts for Deja Vu Garage, or if you need parts for these cars, hit up Deja Vu Garage. He will get you taken care of. But um, yeah, so this is just a eBay cheapy 25 28 71r whatever you want to call it i don't care these things still run good i had one on my previous sr and it ran fine not gonna complain um after i build the head i am gonna do top mount and uh i'm probably gonna go solid lifters and stuff on this later on but just not right now so we're gonna have fun with this thing so there's an event and my dad also told me that um I could use his trailer as long as I buy a winch for him and a, a tire, and I can use it whenever I want, which I'm super stoked about. But um, yeah, guys, so I don't know if I ever showed y'all the transmission. Here's my car wash stuff. I just drop it off. And here, I forgot to show this, but I'll show it at last. But here's the, this is the transmission, all nice and beautiful. I just did the bell housing swap a couple days ago, or about two weeks ago, I'll lie. Uh, two weeks ago, I mean. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm tired. But yeah, so here's the F-150. Here's my truck. This is the truck that I recently got and sold my other truck. I love this thing. It's a EcoBoost. I'm about to pick up a SNB cold air intake and I already got the uh, the engage going. But um, I still gotta get my custom tunes on this because this is for 18.5 I just use it to see my boost gauge for right now. But tomorrow I'm gonna go hit up five star tuning and see what they can do. But uh. Yeah, guys, so this one's going to be my tow baby and a little bit of a fun little truck. But, um, yeah, guys, so I picked up this N-Gage yesterday for uh, 300 bucks, and I'm getting the uh, Coder S&B intake from the same guy for a pretty good price. But, yeah, it's uh, XLT, so it has, like, the nice screen, the center console shift, yada, yada, yada. I got blessed by God to get this truck. Shout out to him. But, uh, yeah, thanks, God. But, anyways... This is the truck. It's on 33s. This is everything I wanted in a truck. Shout out to my wife. She is amazing because she's always finding me things like this. She found, finds good deals everywhere. So I love you, babe, if you see this. But anyways, yeah, so that's the truck. That's the new tow hauler for the 240. We're going to go to drift events. And another thing. I don't get why people are trying to be in competition with me in 240s. Like, please stop. I, I mean, I, I don't know what y'all have against me. I'm the nicest person ever. I mean... This car is going to be clean. I mean, if y'all want to have competition, I can give y'all something to play around with. I mean, I'm Picasso. Picasso son. I'm just kidding. But no, nah, please stop trying to be in competition with me. I'm the nicest person ever. I don't want to be in competition with anybody. I want to roll with other 240 owners and not be in competition and hate each other. But yeah, guys. So that's the SR20. That's the new tow hauler. And I also got forgot to say I got a new compressor for the shop that I rarely use because I don't I need to get air tools. And I really have no use for it. I mean, I got to paint the side of this car, but I can't lie and say I have no use for it because I'm starting my own paint and body business. 
So, yeah, guys, this is the 240. I'm super stoked about it. And I love this thing, and I can't wait to drive it. And it's going to look super good getting pulled on the trailer to drift events. So, see y'all around, guys. That's it. And I will have more videos coming. So, see y'all around. Thank you, Tracy, for building my motor. Later.